We're going to take a live look right now over Grant Park. A typical crisp fall evening. The sun is out. It's getting ready to set. It's still a little cool out there, and there's some rain on the way. Meteorologist Mary Kay Kleiss is here now with a check of our forecast, and we'll have that rain gear handy pretty soon. Right, we're going to need it tomorrow, Rob and Erica, but I do want to share with you a little peek at what's to come perhaps this winter. NOAA has released the temperature and precipitation outlook for the winter months. This is the temperature plot. Notice how much of the country is expected to be warmer than average, especially in the Pacific Northwest. But, you know, even Chicago, the Great Lakes region, reflects trends that would be warmer than normal. These areas here that are not shaded would have equal chances, so a pretty average winter and nowhere across the U.S. is expected to be colder than average. That's interesting. And here's the precipitation outlook. Great Lakes drier than normal, perhaps, and also in the northern tier states there. But you know what's interesting is that the southern tier states here from the Four Corners region to the deep southeast and especially north and central Florida seeing wetter than normal times this winter season and that is attributed to an El Nino developing and it's expected to really peak and develop late fall and early in the winter. So we'll keep watching these trends for you. But right now we're watching a gorgeous sky across the city. Perfect visibility as the sun is starting to go down just after six o'clock. It will set 57 degrees right now. Winds are out of the southwest at nine. So with the sun and those southwesterly winds that help to warm things up around town for us. In fact, one of our weather watchers is at 64 degrees would we check in with Mark. He is in Streeter with sunny skies. He said this morning though it was a chilly 29 degrees. Then it warmed up to a high of 66. Overall a very nice day and closer to the city. We're OK. It's 59 from Patrice. Full sun in Chicago and as she gives us a view from her place in the West Loop looking at the lake looks beautiful out there. Thanks for sharing that. Well officially our high was 58 after we started with a chilly 34 degrees. Normal high is 62 but as we've been talking about it's a cooler than average week and it's going to be a cool weekend too. So we have 58 degrees in Chicago, but notice this warmer air. Minneapolis enjoying 72 degrees today. Reason for that? Well, high pressure that gave us the clear skies. Winds coming around this high in a clockwise position. Keep pulling in some of this warmth all the way into Minnesota, but you can see it's also pulling some moisture into the Texas area and the central plains, south central plains anyway, places that probably don't need the rain. But here's the front we're watching. This is going to bring rain showers into the forecast for us. So let's time it out. If you have plans this evening between 6 and about 10 or 11 o'clock, clear sky. Temperatures around 48 degrees at 10 p.m. Then tomorrow morning, look what happens. 7 a.m. We start with cloudy skies, so it may not be raining when you leave, but grab that umbrella because as we go through time and during the afternoon, we're going to see spotty showers line up ahead of that boundary as temperatures make it into the low 50s, but scattered rain may be around and then we clear out at night. But then Saturday, a second system comes in. This is 6 a.m. We start out clear, but then we have scattered showers around during the afternoon and then temperatures start dry dropping late in the afternoon as cooler air works in. Computer models not giving us a great amount of precipitation, but just know that we have chances for passing showers both Friday and again, this is the picture for Saturday. Now all of that moves out of the way. Dry high pressure, but cool high pressure coming in for Sunday, and that is going to keep conditions very nice for us for the kickoff. 43 degrees at noon on Sunday. Southwesterly winds are light at 5 to 10 for the kickoff forecast, and the high on Sunday will be around 48 degrees. Degrees. So you might want to find that umbrella, Robin Erica. Not a big dramatic rain event, but scattered light showers will be around from time okay. to time. Okay, we can handle that.